Yu-Gi-Oh! is a unique TCG, not only in gameplay mechanics, but in the fact it doesn't rotate out its card pool. Because of this, certain cards that were deemed unplayable or overlooked at first have a chance to appear depending on new strategies and the modern meta. On one hand, these cards just boost a deck's potential, but on the other, they can cheese out an easy win over the other player. But what if Yu-Gi-Oh! had a restart? Could this game be revised with the benefit of hindsight? If so, what would that game look like? These are the questions we wish to answer. I'm Dakota. And I'm Cody. Join us as we create custom packs based on the originals, but change certain rarities of cards as well as eliminating other cards to make sure their toxic behavior never sees a game map. Welcome to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Revision Series. How's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of the Revision Series. I'm joined here, like always, with the Earthbound Immortal himself, Cody. Cody, how are you doing? Feeling rather rusty, me boy. It's been a while, yeah. It's been a while. It's a <laughs> but uh, yeah, we uh, we took a week off. Not uh, to actually take a break, but mostly just because we just don't have any time. The stress of YouTube stardom is so much to bear with. I don't know how people do it. I know. Us and our 81 subscribers. Suffering from success. <laughs> it's 81 now. I'm 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 glad about that. It is. We got like five or six out of nowhere. Yeah. So thank you guys for your guys' support. Hope to see that still uh, continue to climb. That way we can get to our goal of 100. Actually finally get our review done. It's been like, I feel like Look three it. months or so since we've been issuing the challenge. So for today's episode, we are opening up Cosmo Blazer. As always, we like to highlight a couple of cards. The first one I wanted to highlight is a secret rare in this pack. It is Diamond Dire Wolf. It is a rank 4 earth monster requiring 2 level 4s. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, then target one beast, beast warrior, or wing beast monster you control, and one other card on the field. Destroy them. So this actually became a staple card upon release. People were just trying to get their hands on this card as quickly as possible because besides like your typical archetypal cards, this is a generic rank 4 that you can go into, which rank 4s being like the easiest things that you can make. And just kind of like a card that you can go into uh, whenever you're in a uh, tough situation to out a frustrating card that your opponent has. Going into my first card then, I also have a secret rare. I have number 92, Heart Earth Dragon. It requires three level nine monsters. It cannot be destroyed by battle, and your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken from battles involving this card. During the opponent's end phase, you can detach an Xyz material from this card to banish all cards your opponent currently controls that were normal, special summoned, or set this turn. If this card is destroyed while it has Xyz material, you can special summon this card from the graveyard, and when you do, it gains a thousand attack for every card currently banished. So three level nine monsters is really, really hard to do. I would say damn near impossible at this point in the game for us, at least. Yeah. Uh, however, there is a, a Xyz material or an Xyz card that would help us see uh, see this easier. For the next card, a super rare, it is Breakthrough Skill. This is a normal trap card that reads, target one face up effect monster your opponent controls. That face up monster your opponent controls has its effects negated until the end phase of the turn. During your turn, except the turn that this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one face up effect monster your opponent controls. That target has its effects negated until the end phase of the turn. Now, I know I set up the re reveal that there is an Xyz monster that goes with 92 Hard Earth Dragon, but I'm going to blue ball all of you and not use that card <laughs> for my next pick. My next pick is an ultra rare, Artorigus, King of the Noble Knights. I'm somewhat convinced, at least in name alone, this guy is a Dark Souls reference because at this point, Dark Souls had already come out and one of the bosses is Artorius, who is a knight. Uh, two level four noble knight monsters. When this card is Xyz summoned, you can target up to three noble arms equipped spell cards with different names in your graveyard and equip those targets to this card. Once per turn, you can detach an Xyz material from this card to destroy any number of spell and traps on the field up to the number of noble arms equipped spell cards you control. The last card I wanted to talk about is a rare in the pack. It is Mermail Abistius. It is a level 7 water monster with the effect. You can discard one other water monster to the graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand. When summoned this way, you can add a level 4 or lower Mermail monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. My last card is also a rare. It's Valkyrian Knight. It's level 4, has 1900 attack, which is not too shabby. 
Monsters your opponent control cannot target face up warrior type monsters for attacks except for Valkyrian Knight. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can banish one warrior type monster and this card from the graveyard, then target a level 5 or higher warrior type in the graveyard, special summon that target. So that's it for the cards that we wanted to highlight. The rest of the pack includes, of course, more Xyz monsters. Um, there's like the ZW, those type of Utopia cards. Uh, we are getting the introduction of the Hazy Flame cards, which is a, you know, level 6 base strategy. All the monsters are all level 6s, but they do have continuous spells and traps to help cheap them out onto the field. And if you like fire, this is the pack for you. <laughs> yeah, lots of fire stuff in here. Uh, we have a new Elemental Lord. We've gotten, I think, one or two of them before in previous packs, but now we have access to the fire one. Uh, pretty much all the Elemental Lords have effects to where you can just inherent special summon these cards from your hand as long as you have exactly five of a certain attribute in your graveyard so for this one you need to have exactly five fires in your graveyard to special summon this card we have the fire fists in this pack overall cody what were your thoughts on this pack oh <laughs> that's it <laughs> <laughs> just some indigestion <laughs> get it because fire <laughs> no i think it's cool to see some new fire archetypes brought in see the heraldic beast brought in still getting water support it seems every pack we get some water support hell yeah they're really trying for that some weirdly placed fusions like i'm, I'm surprised there's a vanilla fusion in here and there's actually a monarch card we didn't even talk about that uh yeah you're yeah. talking about the uh, continuous spell yeah march of the monarchs man i think that this card's absolutely crazy like not even just for monarchs like if you're just building a tribute summon based deck this card just makes your tribute summons untargetable and undestructible obviously we won't have access to the card but as soon as this card got released people would pair this stuff up with like vanity's fiend stopping your opponent from being uh, special summoning monsters on a 2400 beat stick and now it's untargetable and undestructible so good luck Rageki Break doesn't work because it targets and destroys. Phoenix Wing doesn't work because it targets. Oh, say Phoenix targets. Dark Hole doesn't work because it destroys. Yeah, is there a monster removal that just bounces back to hand or something? Karma Cut doesn't work because it targets. Compulse doesn't Compulse work. Compulse targets. Compulse targets. Oh. So what are, you, what are you supposed to do? Lay down and take it, I guess. <laughs> so overall, yeah, I would say that this was a uh, pretty good set. What do you say, buddy? Should we get into the game? I guess so. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in there. All right, guys, confession time. I know last week I wiped the floor with Dakota. And when Dakota does that with me with a new archetype, normally he likes to use that archetype quite a bit to see how far he can stretch it. And I am doing that this week. It was not my intention. My intention was to build a new strategy, but it was a very busy week. I ran short on time and I didn't have time to sit down and fully construct a brand new deck and figure things out this time. But since it worked out so well last time, maybe we'll get another win out of it. I don't know. The deck is nearly exactly the same. I changed a few things. I moved Pot of Avarice from the main deck into the side deck. I replaced it with my craft from last episode, which was Dust Tornado. So the side deck is mostly the same. I took out the two dimensional fissures and I replaced them with a Goblinberg to help extend some plays, as well as the Pot of Avarice I moved down here. And the only new card in the extra deck is Abyss Dweller because I can actually use the water effect to buff with like, say, Leviathan Dragon or just the shark in general, or even Zen Matey. Yeah, that's kind of it. Other than that, it's the exact same deck. Let's go out there and let's see if we can get the exact same result. All right, guys. So if you've been keeping up with the TCG, you will know that it is the year of fire. So I will be playing a fire fist today. I've never played fire fist before. I wasn't playing Yu-Gi-Oh at this time. So this is going to be a bit of a learning curve for me. Honestly, at this current stage, the deck doesn't, you know, do a whole lot. It's very much a, um, you know, control strategy. Hopefully, no matter what it is that Cody's playing, we're going to be able to stun him out long enough to, you know, gather a bunch of resources and eventually just win the game that way. So we got three bear. This card has the effect that when it inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can set a fire formation spell directly from your deck. Once per turn, you can send a face up fire, more, uh, fire formation spell or trap you control to the graveyard, target a monster on the field, destroy that target. We have two gorilla. Once per turn, when this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can set a fire formation spell directly from your deck. Once per turn, you can send a face up fire formation spell or trap you control to the graveyard target a spell or trap on the field destroy it and then we have three dragon once per turn if you activate a fire formation spell or trap you can set a fire formation trap directly uh, directly from your deck once per turn you can send two face up fire formation spells or traps you control to the graveyard target one fire fist monster you control except for itself 
special summon it. Because we need to control the game, we are also playing King Tiger Wangu. When a monster with 1400 or less attack is summoned, destroy that monster with 1400 or less attack. This card must be face up on the field to activate and resolve this effect. Uh, we're also playing Tribe Infecting, bringing this card back again. We're playing two Snowman Eater and one Night Assailant. Uh, this is a way for me because all these cards are all normal summon monsters i wanted something that i could set but it still does something for the spells we're playing three tanky when this card is activated i can add a level four uh, or lower beast warrior from deck to hand and then all beast warriors gain 100 attack three tensu during my main phase i can normal summon one beast warrior in addition to my normal summon and then all bo beast warrior monsters gain 100 attack only main decking the one gyoku but this card's pretty cool it's similar to night beam you activate this card by targeting a set spell or trap that my opponent controls. Your opponent cannot activate the targeted card in response to this card. While this card is face up on the field, that set card cannot be activated. All Beast Warriors gain 100 attack. Because we don't special summon a whole lot, but we also are only playing like a few monsters, Pot of Duality is a pretty good fit. Instant Fusion, Monster Reborn. Next for the traps, because we have a bunch of them. 3 Tensin. When this card is activated, target one Beast Warrior you control. It gains 700 attack uh, until the end phase of the turn. That effect also applies even if this card is removed from the field. And then all Beast Warriors gain 300 attack. We're playing 3 Fiendish Chain, 2 Force Back, 2 Solemn, 1 Warning, uh, 1 Ring, 1 Compulse, and the Huge Revolution. This is a a counter trap that says when a spell or trap or monster effect is activated that would destroy two or more cards on the field negate the activation and banish it this is mostly just here because of heavy storm because i do plan on setting a bunch if he has heavy storm that's going to be absolutely devastating for the side deck we're playing two more gyoku this is a pretty good going second card one heavy three cyber dragon three double cyclone three summoning curse again because i'm not really special summoning with this deck if a monster is special summoned the current controller of that monster banishes one card from their hand once per turn during your end phase, pay 500 light points or destroy this card. So if he's playing a very combo oriented deck, he's going to have to lose resources from his hand in order to special summon. And then finally, three bait doll. For the extra deck, it's really small because I don't really have a lot of generic stuff. So we have one Tiger King. Uh, requires two level four Beast Warrior monsters. When this card is XC summoned, set a fire formation spell or trap directly from the deck. Once per turn, detach a material from this card, negate the effects of all face up effect monsters currently on the field except beast warriors until the end phase of your opponent's turn when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard you can send three fire formation spells or traps you control to the graveyard special summon two level four or lower beast warrior monsters from the, with the same attack from your deck and face up defense next we have one zen meister one gagaga -ga -ga cowboy and only two of the instant fusion targets because i'm only making rank fours in this deck so that's the deck i felt like i had to try something new um i tried to do something new on the last episode and cody just absolutely crushed me so instead of trying to go combo i figured stun is probably Probably a better strategy i don't know if he's going to be playing windups again but if he does it's probably still going to be a close matchup i think it's going to come down strictly on who top decks better or who just simply draws better in the opening hand i definitely need to go first in order to stop him from you know making big pushes with that out of the way let's just get right into the game all right buddy here we are game one cosmo blazer how you feeling you feeling pretty rusty I don't know. About as confident as I usually do in this series, I guess, which is like 40, 60, you know, <laughs> confident, 60 percent bullshit. I'm surprised you're not feeling uh, more confident based on uh, how well you performed on the uh, last episode. Yeah, but that's the thing is whenever I beat you, you go back to the drawing board and you cook up some crazy shit. I felt so... like that deck was crazy from last week and then you just spanked me around. I was like sweating trying to deck build for this one. I had like three contenders for decks and like I didn't love a single one of them. I just settled on one. So I'm not feeling too confident. I'm going to have to pull off a miracle probably, but I guess it depends on what you brought to the table today. I brought a big old rock. Oh, you too. <laughs> me too. The boulder is unmoving. <laughs> there we go. All right. All right. All right. I got Fair it. Enough. I'll, I'll go first. I think going first is still better. But then again, I could be playing right into you because you tend to build these going second decks. I guess I, I might as well just give away what I'm up to first. Uh, we're just going to normal summon Fire Fist Bear. Ooh. After that, I'm just going to set a card and back to you. Stand by to main. All good. I'll start with an activation of Dark Hole. Uh, yeah, that's how it goes through. <laughs> you actually had a dark hole, a bear. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get out of the way. <laughs> okay. I'll do a normal summon tour guide. Oh, shit. Okay. And then declare its effect. That's all right. 
Ooh, special. Man, I really don't like Tour that you guide? have this card. You don't have a tour guide? I don't have any. I didn't get any. I, I didn't get any of the uh, tour bus, but. Well, that card's like not as good as tour guy, but yeah, that, that's what yeah. made it so annoying that I pulled a um, a ticket last episode for craft a main monster because I really wanted to get my hands on tour guide or Tengu, but not having even one copy of that, there's no point in crafting yeah. one. That was the nice thing was I already had one tour guide, so crafting the second one was an easy call. Yeah, instant access to a rank three. Yeah, I'm gonna overlay. I'm also gonna give myself away, I guess. Oh, here we go. <laughs> All right, uh, on summon, I have Hit to- Hit me with the fiendish. Oh, ring. I thought it was fiendish. Nope, wow. I got ring for you. Unfortunately, <laughs> I have now used my normal summon. I think I'm forced to just pass turn. Okay. I will draw. We'll go standby to main. Let's just uh, set one. Uh, we'll set another one. And back to you. Standby to main. All good. Let's do a normal uh, wind up rat. Uh, uh, force back. Okay. Look at you using force back. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go. <laughs> we'll go standby to main. Oh my god. Um, it, too long. <laughs> Monster Reborn. I, I gotta start pushing this forward because now that you're playing this, I, I feel like I'm under uh, time restraints. We're gonna go battle. I mean, you did already send my best XDs to the graveyard. That's true, but uh, we, we gotta keep it like that. Uh, so after that, I'm going to set a card and pass. Then by to main. Oh, good. So you have Monster Reborn, Force Spec, and Ring. Oh, wait, wait. This card works I... on uh, battle damage too. Uh, I'm gonna use that effect then from uh, Bear. Oh, all right. I thought it had to destroy Beer. a monster. We're gonna set this card. Uh, let's try a normal summon of rat again. I mean, we'll see if I regret it, but uh, let's just uh, keep this um, trend going where you don't get to summon shit. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna warn him that. Monster would be summoned. Okay. Well, I guess I'm forced to just end again. All right. Like to see it. We'll go standby to main. You know what's better than one bear? Two bears. Two bears, bitch. You can barely contain it. We're going to go battle. And 16. All right, I'm going to use that one's effect. And we are going to set a tanky. So that will get set. And then I will attack for another 16. And then use that one's effect. A tensu. All right, we'll go to main phase. And I will activate the tanky. And that will let me search a level four beast warrior. We'll add the uh, gorilla to hand. I will set a card and I will pass the turn. Stand by to main. All good. I guess third time's the charm. Let's go for a normal of rat. Um, negate the summon, I dare you. Uh, I won't negate the summon, but I'm hoping that this still ends your turn. Uh, compulse. <laughs> okay, there we go. I think I have to now. Let's activate Monster Reborn, targeting the rats in my graveyard. Sure. And then I will declare the effect of rat. Okay. Targeting my Zen matey. So summoning it in defense, moving the rat to defense. And then because a wind up was normal or special summoned, I will special summon shark in defense. I'll declare the effect of shark to reduce its level by one to the end phase. Sure. And I will overlay it with the rat for Zen mains. After that, I will set two cards and I will end my turn. All right, I will draw. We'll go standby to main. We'll start with a pot of duality. Oh <laughs> shit. Stealing my ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for... God, your deck is so fucking top loaded with these traps. Unless you're just running a shit ton of them. Well, let's grab the uh, fiendish chain. Mm, yes, I wonder why. It's not really going to help me in uh, the current game state for now with it being a trap, but you know. Let's go ahead and we are going to uh, flip summon Night Assailant, activate the oh, effect. Pot, pot needs to leave the field. Oh, that's true, yeah. A Night yeah. Assailant effect. Wow, you are stealing my ideas. You're bringing out Night Assailant, you're bringing out Snowman Eater all of a sudden. <laughs> it's not so fun, is it? <laughs> yeah, what's the, what do you usually call me? Uh, whenever I steal your shit. A poser. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. Wait, actually, 
You can protect it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I forgot about that. Okay. All right. Um, from here, let's activate Tenson. I will target this one. Okay. So he gains 300 to start. So he'll be a 2K plus an extra seven, 2,700. Yes. Um, I'm going to use this one's effect. I'm going to send the tanky <laughs> to pop this. I can detach the other material. You can. Activate the other bear, sending the trap to the graveyard to pop this. Yeah. So 16, that's, so this one is now gonna be at 23. Let's normal summon Gorilla, and let's activate Gorilla Tensu. I feel like I just used that effect now. So let's use Gorilla. I'll send the Tensu to the graveyard. We'll target this, this back row. I hate you. Is that the one? <laughs> Yeah. Oh shit, not even gonna show it. <laughs> I hate you. It was mirror force. <laughs> I, I feel it. It. <laughs> it was. It was mirror force. Hell yeah, dude. Wow. You had a 50 50 shot and you called it right. <laughs>
changing it to defense targeting I'll target shark okay I will declare the effect of shark changing its level down by one sure overlay leviathan dragon detach one to buff by five or sure. proceed to I think my first ever battle phase yeah, this episode this actually is yeah <laughs> Jesus Christ I want to hit your bear uh so this is 800 mm -hmm. main two yep i will set one card <clears throat> okay and i will pass i will draw we'll go standby to main uh a duality all right one two three oh that's pretty sick yeah let's get that one <laughs> i didn't get to read it but all right uh you're about to see it here in a sec Let's activate a uh, fire formation Gaio crew. Uh, targeting Tar one set spell check point of control. Your opponent cannot activate the targeted card. While this card is face up on the field, that set card cannot be activated. Wow. I know, right? <laughs> it's like night beams. <laughs> After that, let's go ahead and we're going to normal summon tribe infecting virus <laughs> and activate the effect. <laughs> Send. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> 21 is this not lethal oh, it's 16. almost it's almost and uh i gotta pass the turn there oh shit you know what that set was what was it yeah baby wow it's nice to see all my best cards were at the bottom of the fucking deck yeah i'm not surprised that you're still playing this deck again i uh i'll be honest i didn't want to yeah, cause... I never had the time to sit down and actually make a new deck, so I just slightly reworked this one. What was the uh, changes you made in this one? Mm. I see, obviously, the dust. You crafted this. Yeah, I crafted dust, and then I had a pot of avarice in the main deck. I moved that to the side deck. Okay. And then I also added one of the uh, goblinbergs to the side deck. I, th I think that's literally all I changed. Okay, yeah. Oh, uh, I took one card out of this. I took one card out of the side deck. What I take out? This would have been a whole lot of a different game if you would have opened the factory because you already did so much. I never drew it. Yeah, you did so much in that first turn. I mean, in actual card advantage, it, your end board was only a plus one. But again, with the wind up factory, that could have been easily like a plus three potentially. Yeah, yeah, dude. Wind up factory is so pivotal for making sure your combos can go off because there were times where if i just had if i had one more card or if i could do one more summon i could have done so much more that whole time both games i never drew factory i was worried i really was as soon as i saw you were playing windups again i was like shit this is gonna be such a tough game i don't know why you stopped everything i did especially game one every time i tried to summon you just bounced it back or destroyed it but again, like I if it, I do if you actually had access in either one of those games, the factory, like not only would I have to stop what it is that you already had established or was, you know, working your way up to establish, but you're also accumulating resources again. So it's like you can just do that stuff all over again the next turn. And it comes to a point where I have enough cards in hand to stop what it is that you're doing currently, but because you're gaining stuff in your hand as well, can I stop it a second time? Probably not. Did you put in the huge revolution just because of Mirror Force? I put in the huge revolution because this deck, you can see that I'm only playing like, you know, a little over 10 monsters. Like it's like 12 or 13 monsters. Like the Cyber Dragon was a side deck. Huge revolution is in here to stop Heavy Storm. Well, I mean, it would also stop Mirror Force at that rate. True. Presumably, but. Tr true, but like the, the whole point of me throwing it in there was more specifically for Heavy Storm because if you out the back row, it's like the monsters are somewhat nice and the, they also have effects to just keep giving me more of my spells and traps whenever they either destroy a monster or inflict damage. But oh. it's like you, you have to do so many steps just to even get those resources out from the deck in the first place that if you just out them with like a single heavy, like that's just devastating. I don't think I've ever seen that card before. Jesus. What card? King Tiger Wong Hu. This is a classic card, man. This is old school. I've never seen it before. I put this in here just in case you were playing wind up. So I actually main deck this. Oh, I figured as soon as I read that effect, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I know why it's in here. <laughs> not hard to decipher. Did you not pull any of the extra deck monsters for Fire Fist? I did. Oh, okay. Um, oh, is that what your extra deck was? I do have a Tiger King. A Netflix special from 2020? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goddamn Carol Baskets. <laughs> <laughs> all 
All right, buddy, here we are. We are back at the wheel. Go ahead, give it a spin, see what you get. Craft a spell. Okay. Pretty solid. Interesting. I feel like, honestly, that's my favorite one that I land on. There's just like so much utility mm -hmm. in spells. You know, you've got your like normal spells to either like increase your plays, um, quick play spells you can use on either your turn or your opponent's turn. We've been through like so many sets that there's such a variation on normal quick plays. I guess rituals if you wanted to go that route. Uh, let's give it another spin, see what I get. Super slash ultra. Um, there's quite the selection here in supers and ultras. There's like two of the fire fist extra monsters. There's the rank three and the synchro six. Uh, breakthrough skill is in there. Um, I'm not quite sure how I would like that card being only at one. I feel like that's a, a card that even though you can use it twice, like imagine if you had a play set of that card. That's what one the category. Fuck is all it's for? What the <laughs> hell's going, going on? on? Shut up. Uh, craft a main monster. Okay. Wow, two really good options. So yeah, looks like we both uh, definitely have some homework for the next episode. We'll have a new pack. We'll have some new crafts. All right, guys, that's going to bring it into this episode. Thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. And tell us what you thought. Also, hit the sub button. And help us reach our current goal of 100 subs. As always, Cody, closing thoughts. Sometimes you grow up and you outgrow your toys. Sometimes you have to go back to the drawing board. Sometimes you shouldn't let go of those toys, though, because someday they'll have monetary value. Like us and our Yu-Gi-Oh cards. God damn, if I'd have known. If only I'd have known. All right, guys, we'll see you for the next episode. Bye. Peace. You know, uh, you know, uh. yeah. Uh, uh. I was like my closest uh, interpretation of uh, David Draymond. So you, you knew that was David Draymond I was doing there? Was it really? It was. <laughs> I forget which song it was, but he goes, you know, uh, you know. Uh. Yeah, I didn't know that you were going that direction. It just as soon as you said it, that's what I thought of. Yep, that was a uh, David Draymond right there. We are so interconnected. We even finish each other's sandwiches. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't say anything. Yeah, because you're supposed to finish it. Okay. <laughs>